What's going on, squad gang? It's your boy, the uncrowned otaku. By now, everybody should have been caught up with the latest series of Digimon, Digimon Adventures Try. Now, this is set six years after the events of Season 2's Digimon. You know, the one where they had the armored Digivolve and the Digifusion stuff with the armored eggs and everything. That, uh, that series. This is six years after that. Surrounding the original Digi Destin, I think it's like six, six or eight of them, some one of those two numbers. Anyways, four episodes came out, ran train on all four of them last night, and it's going down in more ways than one. Let me first off be the one to say I hate the way Tai Chi is acting right now. Okay, fine. You saw some buildings get roughed up. You saw a broken cell phone. People were scared. That's going to happen. There's Digimon in real life running havoc. That's going to happen. That in no way, shape, or form means that you should just start being a, a coward, not fighting, letting your teammates get, get beat up, letting your Digimon get beat up, and you just shaking their fear. Can't respect any man that does that. Now, with that in mind, I'm not Team Yamato either, because I think he's being a jerk about it. He's not trying to see the bigger picture. But at the same time, Taichi needs to understand that only him and his team can prevent further damage. By not doing anything Whoa. at all, they're just going to keep wreaking havoc and you're not doing anything to stop it. I'm dead. I think Taichi has the right attitude of we need to minimize the damage. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't do anything at all. No, you should not I'm be dead. scared to fight. You should just know when you're fighting, you're fighting to protect people. Now besides that, I like the storyline. I don't know what's going on. Not a clue. But it seems very interesting so far. We got infected Digimon, champion levels that are as strong as a mega level. And one, this is one thing that I don't get. The first three episodes, all they're doing is champion Digivolving. In my mind, I'm like, okay, they lost their Digicrest. Maybe they can't do Ultimate. Maybe they can't do Megas. Granted, okay, we got a whole new season. Maybe they'll get back to that level or get a new form of Digivolving. I don't know, but... <laughs> Episode 4 comes out. Dude named Alphamon comes down. You could tell just by looking at him. First of all, any Digimon with a cape, you know it's a wrap. You know it's a wrap if they got a cape. So he comes down. Everybody champion Digifoss getting smashed, hammered, left and right. My man is yoking people up, hand blasting them all over the place. So I'm like, okay, cool. They got to find a new way to Digivoss because apparently they can't do their ultimates. I was dead wrong. Yamato and Taichi agree they need to go to Omega Mon to fight Alpha Mon. Get it? Alpha, Omega, beginning, end. Ra ra ra, ra ra. So then we see Guru Mon turn into Where Guru Mon. Grey Mon turn into Metal Grey Mon. Then Metal Guru Mon. Then War Grey Mon. And then they fuse into Omega Mon. Why didn't they lead off with that? They could have shut down Kuwagamon so easily if they just would have led with their ultimate forms. That I don't understand at all. They didn't give us no backstory, no, oh, we went and trained for a couple of days to get back to this level, no. For all I know, they could have done that from the beginning, which means they let the airport get trashed. That's all I'm saying. But, all in all, good episode. Looking forward to the next episode. What do you think about this season, Digimon Try? Comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Open mouth kisses to all my summers. Come get the good loving while it's hot.